Steph here. So I just finished watching the first episode of Birth of a Beauty and I thought that I would give you guys a review of it. Or at least try to like sort out my thoughts on it because I'm really not sure do I love it? Do I hate it? Or do, do I just love to hate it? First, some things that I love. I love the comedic element of it. It's funny. This drama is funny, it is ridiculous, at least from the first episode, and it's funny in that it's ridiculous because they take everything to the extreme, especially like the, the nice fancy girl walking down the street. Everybody is running after her and like following her, and that wouldn't actually happen in real life. Not to mention that, you know, the whole, like, her heels, you have high heels in Seoul, and then you have those heels, which are so big she basically can't even walk in them, at least not walk in them properly. And the whole story is taken to the extreme. I, there are definitely some touches in on real life. I mean, you do have the, oh, a C cup bra size in Korea is a large size here. That is true. Um, you also do have plastic surgery, although plastic surgery in this case is taken a bit to the extreme. And at least they do acknowledge that, you know, like plastic surgery, surgery plays a huge part in this drama. And the other elements that I really like about this drama are, you know, as soon as she feels like she's threatened, she can actually like take care of herself. So you have a girl who knows martial arts and can physically protect herself if she feels that she's being stuck. And the fact that, you know, she doesn't stand for her husband cheating on her, but she decides to eventually take revenge. So big key element in this story, looks are everything. Um, this drama definitely goes into the whole realm of looks are everything and you know if you're a larger more unattractive woman then a really good looking successful guy couldn't possibly be interested in you and if he is interested in well and not only should he not be interested in you uh, but it justifies that he would actually cheat on you with somebody else because Though you take care of him, though you support him, though you give him everything and like helped him along the path of success, he couldn't possibly be interested in you because you're unattractive and not good looking. Um, also, if you're a larger person, you don't know how to dress yourself. Um, you're also apparently clumsy and uh, everyone in society feels bad and sorry for you and you are a reminder of everything that they should not want to be and uh, don't need to be. And then the other thing is once you become beautiful, automatically everyone loves you, success comes, everything falls into place in life for you and you become a rock star. And how do you get from point A being a slightly larger woman to point B? being a super smexy rock star look like uh, plastic surgery because you don't need diet and exercise. Oh no, you can go under the knife in one large plastic surgery procedure and take care of everything and have a complete head to toe transformation, including a voice change. Did I mention that the girl that they have playing the before fat character actually isn't all that fat? I don't know, it kind of breaks my heart. I'm not exactly sure about how I feel about this actress, Hanye Sul. I mean, yes, she's attractive, yes, she's a great actress, but she also has a history of not really being the best actress in like participating in dramas. She actually, her last drama, which was Young Will the Spy back in I don't even know what year, um, she actually left. Yes, working conditions were bad, and she was of ill health, and there was a whole reasoning for it. But she just like up and hopped a plane and left the country, only to come back a couple days later to like try to make up for everything and finish out the drama. But like, I mean, in the world of dramas, don't get me wrong, they don't take care of the people always. Working conditions aren't always the best, but like, that's a bit extreme. Like, I've never really heard of that 
elsewhere in drama land. I've heard of people dropping out of dramas because of like literally like having scratch corneas and like needing eye surgery and things like that but I mean this to me shows the difference between an actress like Gong Hyo Jin who broke her arm and still did the drama versus this chick who flaked. Not to mention that she actually didn't play the larger version of herself in this drama though other people have done it in prior dramas so, I mean, she only has to play the, the gorgeous, rich, sophisticated version of herself, and she doesn't actually have to, like, really extend her acting abilities. So for me, that actually makes me appreciate the woman who's playing her before, because she's essentially making fun of herself, and that, like, breaks my heart for her. Um, and so, like, this act, this drama is actually re reminiscent in many ways of 300 Pound Beauty, the movie, which I love to hate, you know, like, I love the drama, the movie, but I also hate it at the same time, and I find myself doing the same with this drama. I mean, don't get me wrong, there definitely is going to be some redeeming qualities in this one, there's definitely some good morals that are going to come out of this one, and... You know, it definitely showcases the whole Korean beauty mindset that beauty in physical appearance is everything. And you know, like, who am I to actually be talking about this? But it does break my heart. Um, so anyways, that's my thoughts on <sighs> Birth of a Beauty. Um, I didn't even touch on the main actor. I think he's doing a great job. Uh, what do you guys think of this drama? Let me know down in the comments section. Mikey is all about it, aren't you babe? Regardless, I'm probably going to keep watching another couple episodes of this drama because it is exceptionally well made and well done and it is interesting, uh, but I'd like to know what you think. What are your thoughts? Yeah, comments. Be sure to click the like button on this video if you like this video, if you like this kind of thing, if you want to see more reviews, let me know in the comments what other dramas you'd like to see me review. And that's it, you guys. Happy drama watching. Bye! The other big person I was looking forward to watching in this one was Pak Minu because uh, I love him so much from Roommate. I think he's adorbs.